Letošnji že 29. festival Okarina je v polnem zamahu. En za drugim se vrstijo odlični izvajalci in za peti glasbeni večer so organizatori poskrbeli za še eno glasbeno poslastico. Na Odru na Blejski promenadi smo lahko uživali ne le v enem tem več dvih koncertih. Najprej je poslušalce v ritmih flaminka zapeljala izraelska umetnica Noa Drezner, na to pa so nastopile zvezde večera skupina Jemen Blues. Že zemi na Jemen Blues lahko sklepamo, da ima blues posebno mesto v njihovi glasbi. Blues je vse 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 blues or classic or genres or stuff like that it's just uh, playing music whatever works in the music for us is there and this is how we make music and this is how we love to create and this is what Yemen blues is about um, just you know reconnecting all the sounds and all the cultures and all you know anything that really works together and uh, everything works together so yeah, they say that your music is timeless. I think maybe it feels timeless because uh, the music is based on the roots of things. That's what, uh, kind of what blues for me means, you know, the root of something. There, and there's roots, uh, maybe if you think about it in a big way, all the roots are the same. They all come from the same place. So that's why you can hear, you know, something that seems like wouldn't fit, cultures that sometimes don't stand together in this music they stand together and this is the, the maybe the timeless aspect of it it's blues it's the root of things we all share it and how did everything started for you can you just like explain the your journey together um uh, i met a guy i had like a, some kind of few songs i met a guy called uh, omar vital and uh, and then uh, we started to you know jam those songs and then we called Ronnie and Itamar Doar which is not here today and another few friends to play the music and we started to do all kinds of arrangements to the songs and it became like uh, this monster thing which is uh, which you know each of us came from different kind of backgrounds in music and in life and uh, and and you know we all kind of were there to play the music and bring our own sounds into the arrangements and it became like something really beautiful and and detailed and uh, and all all kinds of sounds from all kinds of cultures were like combined together in a very organic way and uh, understanding of serving a situation to create something greater. To come together to play music, to connect with the music, each one were with his roots and uh, that's it, you know, play music. Tako preprosto je to, če počneš čisto, kar imaš rad. Že v času njihove tonske vaje se je pod odron zbralo kar nekaj mimo idočih in jim zanimanjem prisluhnilo. When they feel, uh, you know, a common language, you know, the, the rhythms are, we all share, you have, and this is for everybody, you know, this is like a universal language, everybody can feel. And this is something that uh, immediately connects uh, the person, and I think that that's why they recognize, maybe it's something that I know, maybe it's something that I, uh, I have in my DNA too. And, it, and actually they do. Prav to je tisto. Glasba ima moč, moč da povezuje. Kljub temu, da ne poznamo njihovega jezika in da so nam nekateri zvoki in melodije po vsem tuji, se z njimi lahko povežemo. For me, uh, what I'm trying to uh, do in music and remind uh, everybody around me in music is that we share a very basic um, uh, uh, place which is to be a human being. We all here and we all kind of come from the same place. And, um, and, and people sometimes forget that we have this uh, root together, all together. We, we understand, we have like a, um, uh, something very basic that, that we can all understand and it's easy to understand. So I think music 
is is uh, is a lot about the the moment of the soul. It's like the it's a moment that you feel something that is familiar and and uh, and and you immediately connect to it. And uh, and this is the beauty in music that you can you know make people feel that very easy and very simple and then they you know they hear all kinds of sounds from all kinds of places that they never heard of or they don't really understand the the, the, the words but still they they really feel something true and something something that we share Specifically, the Gimbri come from a tribe called Gnawa. They mainly live in Morocco. Uh, they have two uh, main instruments, uh, the Gimbri and the Kolkab, which is like the uh, percussion, uh, uh, yeah, like the flamenco thing, but it's uh, bigger. And so uh, they have this. And I just liked the sound, and I opened YouTube, and I started to play it. And um, and we have more. We have the oud uh, that Chaniers play. That it's like an Arabic guitar. That it's uh, like like you say uh, the the mother of the the Western guitar. And we, Ronnie is playing on many many African and Latin percussion. It's like uh, generations of percussions, you know, it's like very, very uh, uh, ancient, you know, uh, percussion like the calabash that they do in, in from a pumpkin and then uh, the conga, which is kind of another generation of African or it's all connected, you know, this is, it's all, you know, we all uh, make new versions of things all the time. Everything is everything. Skupina Yemen Blues in Noa Dreznar iz Vajalka, ki je na okarinin odr stopila pred njimi, imajo kar nekaj skupnega. Tudi ona prihaja iz Izraela, 12 let pa je živela v Španiji in se tam zaljubila v flamenko. I learned to play flamenco guitar in Spain for many years and at some point I started also composing so I had my own compositions and three months ago I released my debut album that is called El Hilo Rojo, it's like the red string in Spanish and it's, um, it's an album of my compositions expressing myself throughout the flamenco style of guitar and it's a, like traditional flamenco but with many ideas that are coming from other kinds of music I used to play before I played flamenco like jazz and rock and some I used to play sitar a little bit Indian sitar so I also put a little bit inside it's a, it was a very exciting for me to finally release this album. Velik vpliv na ustvarjene glasbe imajo tudi njena popotovanja. Izgleda, kakor da jo glasba vodi skozi življenje in ji kaže tisto pravo pot. When I traveled the world to learn something, like when I was in India, I really fell in love with sitar and Indian music, so I spent a few years there. And then I went to Spain and I was really freaking out when I heard the guitar, how they play flamenco. I was not really exposed to it before. And then I decided to stay in Spain and to dedicate some years to the guitar. Flamenco guitar is še vidno doma v moških rokah, a ona utira novo pot in kot ena iz metritkih ženskih ustvarjalk flamenka dokazuje, da nič ni nemogoče. Always doing my best to, you know, try to express the best I can so the people can, even if they don't know flamenco or never heard flamenco, they can listen and, 
and feel something, you know, like tra transmit something, you know, of my world, of how I see the world and, and, and everything. The music is magic. In Prauzer is magic and you will not stop. V španskem popotovanju pa je sledilo potovanje širom sveta. Jemem bluz so od prve sekunde, ko so stopili na odr, z nevrjetno energijo začarali obiskovalce in lahko rečemo, da smo bili priča enemu izmed najbolj glasnih, odštekanih in nepozabnih koncertov.